Taylor, uh, we came in here to film an episode. There are rocks on our table. <laughs> yeah, I was running out of space, so I had to put the uranium ore on the table. Okay, that's what I was... <laughs> so, am I in danger? I oh, know, it's fine. Let's see. Um, yeah, not too bad. Doesn't make me... The, 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 yeah, it's fine. Doesn't make me feel 500 great. 500 micro an hour or something. Okay, so what's... Um, what do we have here? Yeah. Well, so these are from a recent expedition I went on, and these are actually some of my favorite uranium and thorium mineral, minerals. In fact, they're some of my favorite rocks in general because they're called pegmatites. Okay. Uh, pegmatites are awesome because all of the world's greatest crystal gem deposits really have formed in pegmatites. Okay. So you've been out on a hike before, I assume. I, yeah, we've hiked together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're on a hike, sometimes you'll see big granite boulders. And if you look in the granite boulders, you'll see there's little tiny crystals in it. Little tiny black specks or white specks or clear specks, biotite, quartz, these different minerals. Pegmatites are cool because they form from the same stuff. We're talking about igneous rock that is intrusive, that forms inside the earth. This rock, cooled slower though. And as it cooled, instead of forming little tiny crystals, it formed really big crystals. And those crystals tended to be enriched in the kind of heavy elements like rare earths, thorium, uranium. Okay. Uh, and in this case, uh, that made them radioactive. So, you know, this is a crystal of uh, alanite, for example. Should you be touching that? Oh yeah, it's okay. fine. Okay. But that this is alanite, which is a silicate mineral that has quite a bit of thorium in it. And uh, this is... The number is going up. I don't love that. <laughs> this rock has a, a mineral called monazite in it, which has lots of rare earths and also thorium. So you can oh, yeah. hear that. It's up to 2.5 thousand. Yeah. But if you grab those minerals on the end there... Should I, can I... Can yeah, I, yeah. Those aren't radioactive. Okay. The, the three on the end there, yeah. Okay. So this is, for example, black tourmaline, which is a... From a pegmatite, it is a um, another silicate mineral that grows to incredible sizes. Uh, that's just a piece of a crystal there that grew inside granite. Okay. And then if you check that one there, you can really see how the crystals have grown to a very large size. Yeah. Um, and if you take that little piece right there, that's actually quartz that grew in this deposit. Um, but you can see how it's dark. It's not. It's not clear and transparent oh, because anymore. it got irradiated exactly the natural radiation and the pegmatite yeah. i don't know if that's your hand that's probably the rock underneath but anyway uh the radiation and the pegmatite caused okay. color centers in the quartz and made it smoky quartz that's where okay. most most of the more spectacular colored gemstones are colored uh, diamond or your colored quartz amethyst things like that come from natural irradiation in the soil i don't love how close I am, but... Oh, you're fine. Okay. It's very low level. <laughs>